One of the brightest stars in the night sky is dramatically fading, and scientists say that's because it could be about to explode. So we've got Dan Riskin here with This Week in Science. Dan, what's going on? Well, there's this star, it's called Betelgeuse, which right away you know something dramatic is going to happen <laughs> with that name. It's part of Orion. So most people are familiar with the Big Dipper as yeah. a constellation in the sky. Orion is another one a lot of people recognize. It's got these three stars that really stand out. That's Orion's belt. The shoulder, or the, the belt, right? Right, and the then belt. The and then this is the shoulder of Orion. So if those three stars, they're not quite lined up, they look a little bit like parts of a big circle. And if you were to follow that circle to the middle, that's where it is. You can find it. It's red. And it's a red giant star. And red giants are like, you know, it's got 20 times the math of our, mass of our sun. It's huge, and that means they burn more quickly. And what happens in the life of a red giant is that it burns, 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 and then it fades at the end and gets dimmer and dimmer and dimmer, and then it explodes in a supernova. Now, if this does happen, this will be brighter than the moon, they are saying. It's a star, it's gonna be brighter than the moon. It'll be the biggest thing. Like, this happened in like 1006, and everybody lost <laughs> their minds all over the world. This happened in 1504, people went crazy. So if this does happen, it's gonna be like the biggest deal ever. I can tell by your reaction. Yes, I'm very excited, but <laughs> the thing is, with astronomy, they've never, so what's, the reason they think something exciting is happening is because this is t usually one of the top 20 stars in the sky for how bright it is. Sorry, it's usually one of the top 10 brightest, and now it's not even in the top 20. Just since October, it is dim, 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 dimmed, well beyond how much it normally dims when it fluctuates. And so, all of a sudden, we're seeing something we've never seen in 50 years for this star. So some astronomers are saying, that's because it's about to explode, and other astronomers are saying probably in the next 100,000 years it will explode. So we don't know if this is like this next Tuesday or if it's maybe several generations from now. We don't know. But we should watch it anyway. So look at the night sky, see if you can find Betelgeuse, and make sure it's still there. Okay. Okay, so that was a lot of information. So what we know, we know that it sometimes fluctuates in brightness. Right, it's a fluctuating brightness star. They're called variable stars, yeah. But it has fluctuated a little bit more. It's dimmed more than it has, in it, the, more than, what, 50 years? Right, so for 50 years, it's been getting brighter, dimmer, brighter, dimmer, brighter, dimmer. All of a sudden, since October, it's gone dim, 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 dim. way outside the normal range. And so, you know, it would be nice to have a 1,000 years of data to know whether that's in the range, but it's still something to just keep an eye on. So people are watching it very closely. So I gotta ask, this explosion, you're talking about this sounds like in, like it's going to engulf the night sky will we be able to see it from earth oh yes you'd be able it would be so bright you'd be able to see the star during the day it's so bright that it would be like i said it'd be as bright as the moon on, filling the sky. You wouldn't be able to see any stars around it. It would be insane. So, I mean, people have seen these supernovas in the past. In 1504, there are all these descriptions. They call it Kepler's supernova. Um, people saw it. They said it was a bright, you know, this bright light that you could see during the day in the sky. Um, so it, it's, it's a big deal if it happens. It won't hurt anybody. This thing's 600 light years away. So we're too far away for it to hurt us, but it would definitely be this bright thing for several weeks there would be this crazy thing in the sky, which you can see from Canada, and then it would fade and uh, and just stay a little bit dimmer. So yeah, in that picture, you see this Orion's There's belt. There's Betelgeuse. Yeah, Orion's belt is the three, and they mm -hmm. look like they're sort of spokes around a circle that are coming from that red one. That's Betelgeuse. You can find it in the night sky on a clear night, even from in Toronto, you can see it. That is wow. a bright star normally. So. Go outside on a starry night, look for those three, and then try to find your way back to that red one. That's the one we're talking about, Beetlejuice, and you can only say it twice. Don't say it three times, otherwise <laughs> crazy things start to happen. Honestly, Don, I'm so glad that you pronounced that because I wouldn't, I, did, I was like, Betelgeuse. Well, some people say Beetlegeuse or another <laughs> No, things, I like Beetlejuice. Yeah. I like, okay, we're watching it, Dan, thank you. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.